Fancy Sims, and we're back with more Hustle Cat. And we finished Mason's route in the last part. And so all we have to do is go through Reese's route because we've already gotten Finley and Hayes and Landry and Mason. So Reese is the last one. So we're going to start a new game. I'm a cheer. We're going to be the pasty ass because that's me, super pasty. This is me. There we go. So, I fell asleep on the couch again. Yada yada. I'm waking up and lasers in my face and I look like a zombie and... Uh, I have a body of a prepubescent boy. But that's only so that they didn't have to draw two different characters. They basically just drew one. And we could be totally gender neutral. Kind of are. There is nothing really that defines us as masculine or feminine. Because it's not like we have like, we're super muscly or anything like that. Which kind of like bones. So anyway. Uh, Alright, so he's asking us about a job. And we are supposed to say, actually I'm here about the job. Actually, I'm here about the job. Oh, his pause is brief, but it worries me a little. Is it really that surprising that someone would come in and ask about a job? We've already read all... I know we've already read that interaction. Um, so... I feel like this one... Is gonna be... Hmm. This one might go fast because there's not gonna be a lot... Where we're interacting... With Reese in the very beginning. Um, I think what I might do... I'm, I'm debating if we should reread the whole entire thing when we get to Graves' route. Um, it'll definitely take a while. But I know that we're supposed to answer certain certain questions a certain way when we do it. Uh, cats with stumpy tails, that's what we're going to say. I speak the language of dance. A shark. I didn't say that the last time. Genre of music. I don't know what... Did I already say this? I think I've said some of these already. We'll do punk. I don't know. We already we already rated him as a one, so that was pretty funny. Teenage wolves, because that's different. Uh, and then the interesting thing. So yes, blah blah blah. Um, I do feel bad that we're like skipping through a lot of this, but hopefully, like, just chilling out, chatting with you. It's kind of entertaining and it's kind of refreshing your memory of what happened. Um. I'm just worried that, I mean, I I think with Graves, it's mostly all going to be the same, but I don't want it, I don't want to miss anything on his route, um, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Maybe we'll, you know, start reading, well, maybe we'll just manually skip through if we think things are similar, so we don't miss anything. this time. I actually really did like Hayes' route, I think. He's so adorable. Look at him. Oh. I actually get wrapped up in the beginning. They're so, like, super tuned like it's almost weird like the voices I do like how it shows their kitty cats oh little little tiny kitty oh of course I did like Mason's too and she was like all snuggling up with us when she was a cat she's getting all super friendly that was cute Landry scared me a little. Like, honestly, like, he's one of the cool characters in the beginning. But, like, with his power and him getting all mad at that kid and everything, it was like, well, okay, you've got some anger management issues. I did not expect that from him. Um, oh, whoops. Uh, I expected that more from Reese, because, like, Reese just, like, comes across as a douchebag. Like, it's just the way I read him, you know? Like, 
but Meow. Arr. I think Mochi's my favorite character. <laughs> so this is everything that we've already done. So Finley's gonna ask us about a shirt and we're just going to say we thought it was a cool shirt. We've already kind of gone through this. I know we could be like reading Reese, but I don't want to read too much of stuff that we've already done just because then this gets us to the, uh, just thought it was a cool shirt. Oh, it's a game. Maybe I'll let you borrow it. Oh my God. You're so weird. She's the only one that has a real, like super duper different voice. Ask Reese about the uniforms. Okay. So. He seems pretty serious about this. Maybe I shouldn't blow him off because he looks so young. Maybe he's secretly as old as Graves or something. Uniforms? But nobody else is wearing any uniforms. They just haven't changed yet, or they don't need them. Only the waitstaff wear uniforms, and you'll be waiting tables with Landry today. Yeah, but Landry... Landry doesn't have a uniform. Reese glances over his shoulder toward Landry, who's made himself busy straightening up the tables in the dining area. He doesn't appear to have heard either of us, or he's just ignoring us. That's because we don't have a uniform in his size. Yet, at least. Someday he won't have an excuse anymore. Come on, Avery! I bet you'll look cute in a uniform! I can't help feeling a bit itchy about this. Reese rummages around in a drawer by the back door and pulls out some kind of black, orange, and white lace thing. That can't be it, right? This looks like it should be your size. Now, come on! He dumps the pile of lace and fabric in my hands and then pushes me toward what I assume is the bathroom. I pause in front of the door and give Reese a baleful look. Aw, oh, come on. At least try it. I see what he's up to. And that's funny. That's what we chose in the first one, but that's... I see what you up to? Okay, now I know he's messing with me. Nobody outside of 19th century England has worn something like this, and I'm pretty sure they hadn't yet invented an orange that ugly. What is this, some kind of hazing thing? I'll pass. Oh, come on! It's a cat's paw tradition! I've always considered myself a mold breaker. Let it go in the record that Avery hates fun. He's like a kid who just had a toy, has just had his toy taken away. What a brat! Even Finley looks disappointed. I gently drape the uniform mold over his shoulder, but he moves his head before I have the chance to wrap the big orange ribbon around his head. This is such an ugly outfit. Has anybody actually worn it when you foisted it on them? Foisted nothing? I want to wear it every day. They won't let me. You should have seen Landry in it. He practically busted the seams. I glance behind me to see what Landry is doing. I have no idea how he would have gotten this uniform on in the first place. He must have heard his name because he hurries up to the second floor. Reese was too scared to ask Mason to do it. I was not. You were. You mentioned a dress code and she stared icicles into you and you stopped. It just wasn't relevant. How about you, Reese? Of course not. Really? This looks like it's about your size. No. Graves had it made. I had nothing to do with this. You, st you started before any of us, so we wouldn't know. No. I bet you looked like a little prince. I'm leaving to get ready for cat detail. Okay, your highness. Leaving. Reese storms off. He disappears around the corner that leads to the kitchen. God, I really do love this game. I really fucking do. I just love how well written it is and just the banter between the characters. And like, I just, I love it. Finley gives me a light punch on the shoulder and a sly grin. I bet if you talk to Graves, he might have pictures of Reese in that uniform. Nah, I'm good. Aw, spoil sport. Well, I better get to work. Oh, I better get to work too. Good luck on your first day. I'll be by to document your project or your progress for the blog later. Finley gives me a little wave, then follows Reese to the back. Oh my god! Look, I'm Jelly Donut! I, I love Finley so much. I guess I should find where Landry ran off to. He's training me today, after all. Okay, blah, 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 blah. So this is, oh, hash browns. Waffle pancakes.
And da, 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 da. I just love looking at the fucking little cats in the background. Okay, so this is going to be interesting. This is going to be new, guys. So we're going to follow Reese's cat. I know he's not supposed to be out here. What a little jerk cat. I take off after the bratty bobtail. Reese's cat suddenly stops, turns around, and plants his haunches on the pavement. He looks up at me with a surprisingly bored expression. Oh, come off it, Avery. You can stop tailing me now, unless you were that bent on following me home. Uh, the cat is talking. Why? Why do you look so surprised? You knew it was me, right? Wh what? What? Come on, my cat self and my human self look so similar. They're both equally gorgeous. Look at this sassy cat. Look at his face like, I'm super fucking hot as a cat. I'm a beautiful fucking bobtail cat. I mean, look at me. I'm just glorious. I just love the fucking face. I love the cat avatars. That's what they are, cat avatars. Cat avatars. <laughs> I love it. Oh my god. How did you not put two and two together? Of course I didn't put two and two together. Who the hell is going to think? Oh, of course. He is also a cat. That's the most absurd thing I've ever heard. I can't believe I'm even having this conversation right now. I don't know why I expected you to know anything about witches. Let me look at you. What's that supposed to mean? It means I don't think you know much at all. Fine. Graves obviously did a trash job of explaining this, so all the work is up to me. What are you doing, bird? Don't you poop on my couch. See you looking like you're going to poop on my couch. Oh my god, look at this face. Look at this face! Look at the little kitty face! Ah, he's almost as fucking cute as Finley's cat. Anyway. Again? <laughs> he goes from that little sassy face to this. It's like, ah! Meh. Whatever. To like, hi, I'm cute. Everyone at a cat's paw is under a curse. Once we leave the premises, we turn into cats. Curse is likely tied to the cafe itself, though I don't think anybody else knows how. This is probably the most absurd thing I've ever heard. But it's also sort of hard to deny because a cat is telling it to me. So, everybody. Graves, too? Who knows? I've never seen him as a cat, but I haven't seen him do a lot of things. Does that mean... Am I going to be cursed, too? I wouldn't be surprised. Well, I would. How do I end up not cursed? If I knew that, I'd be a lot taller and less furry right now. How do you even get a cat curse? Didn't you hear me? Witches. Believe it or not, this area is full of them. I'd go with the or not, but I can't really come up with any more plausible reasons. This is absurd. I just had a long day, and my brain's leaking out of my ears, so that's all. I might just be imagining this. Are you done, then? I have things to do. What, like chase birds? Cute. Look, if it makes you feel better, we can talk about this more at work tomorrow. With everyone else. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Introduce me to all the talking cats. Just don't be late again. Hey, I wasn't late today! I get the feeling that if he had had the shoulders for it, Reese would be shrugging right now. Instead, he rolls his head to the side. Reese stands back up. He takes a grand leap up a trash can, then up again to the fence. Whatever you say. Good night, Avery. With that, he's gone. Er, good night? The sun's barely gone down, but I am capital letter done with today. This is too much. Don't forget the good food this time. Canned stuff. Er, did someone just say something? There's nobody here but Mochi. Oh, for crap's sake. I find him standing next to the food bowl, looking up at me with those expectant eyes. I gently nudge him with my foot. Did you just say that? Mer. Nope. Nope, I'm done. I dip the rest of the canned food into the bowl and scurry out of the kitchen. Then I dump myself in bed. I don't even want to think about it right now. I'm just going to sleep in real in a real bed for once. 
Maybe sleeping on the couch so much is messing with my head. I don't usually close the door, but I think it's a good idea tonight. I don't want Mochi whispering to me in my sleep. And then this is when we find the whisker and we freak out. You didn't know you were a cat? We all signed a contract, stupid. You really are dumber than a box of rocks. I just like doing Finley's voice. I'm annoying. Okay, so that's what yes, we see. We leave him alone. We should give him his space. Blah, blah, blah. Jelly Donut! You're so starstruck right now. Oh my god, it's so adorable. I can give you my autograph. I can, like, stamp my paw in ink. Just put it on a piece of paper. What a hassle. I think, perhaps... Unless I get like really like I'm like, oh my god, I feel like this is all repeat. We can read through um and do we can read through when we get to Graves' route. So this way we don't have to skip through everything. We'll reread everything. Um Holy crap, Graves! What the fuck is down here? Okay, so see, this is why she was going to turn into a cat, but then she found the book. But that's the weird thing is, is like, oh, because she was starting to turn. But so she's not going to completely turn. I love the sprinkles. One coffee coming right up. Um. And then we say have a good night to her. Um. And we can choose other options that we didn't choose. I mean, we've chosen all the options. We've literally gone through all of them. So it's not like there's anything different in this one. But we can try to choose ones that maybe we didn't choose as much. Or whatever. We can try to choose everybody's. Like, which, who gives us the... What do we get for a point for this? Let's choose that option. You know what I mean? And then this is the cat that jumps on us. Okay, that's... Okay, so we are getting Oh Mer. Uh. Okay, so we can actually do either one of these. Um we'll just go get some from work. Doesn't matter. That's sort of different. We won't read through that because we're going to go in here. Blah, 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 blah. So this is everybody talking, blah, blah, blah. And now we get to see what Reese is doing. This is where we'll read. Okay, so see what Reese is doing. That looks like a sketchbook. I've never seen Reese draw before to think of it, I haven't seen him do anything for entertainment before. I wonder if he's good. Only one way to find out. What you got there? Yo, don't startle me like that. Sorry, but what are you working on? Well, since you asked nicely, I suppose I can show you. Prepare yourself for greatness. He holds up the sketchbook as if he's presenting the new king. Cool book. Look at the sketches, idiot. Oh my god, look at her face! He's like, look, I can hold a pencil. Fucking awesome. <laughs> Whoa, are those... Are these fashion sketches? Are you a designer? Not yet, but someday I'll have a label bigger than my dad's. If you play your cards right, I might give you early access to my first collection. So you want to follow in dad's footsteps, huh? If you want to be so simple about it, sure. 
before all that, I'd like to design a new uniform for this cafe before Graves gets it in his head to try again. So that's what you meant by early access to your first collection, huh? You'll thank me for it once they're done. So do you have any sketches of what you had in mind? Actually, I do. Here. These are really cool. I had no idea. There's a lot you don't know about me. Oh, you're so full of mysterious mysteries. I'm sure that was supposed to be a song, but... Will you share your dark and tortured past with me someday, too? Oh, quit it. Seriously, I wouldn't mind wearing this at all. Hey, can you design something for me? What, right now? Yeah, I want to see the artist in action. Er, it's not that quick of a process. How about you draw something for me instead? Show me what you got. <laughs> you better... Grit... Oh, gird your loins then, because this is going to be something else. Consider them girded. He hands me the sketchbook, flipped to a fresh, clean page that has no idea what I'm about to do. All right, let's show this bratty kid what's up. Hmm. All right, there. I hand the sketchbook back to him, drawing face down. You may uncover my masterpiece whenever you're ready. He flips the sketchbook over. I can tell he's impressed by how speechless he is. <laughs> I... Somehow, I actually expected you to draw a fashion sketch. Silly me. What? It's a cat! I'm really good at drawing cats! I thought it was a pig. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> it looks like a tiger, actually. Well, I'm sorry you aren't sophisticated enough to get it. There's nothing to get about a cat drawing. If you like, I can give you some lessons. Nope. I don't want you touching my sketchbook again. You're lost, nerd. Wh I'm not a nerd. Wow, he really is pretty easy to mess with, isn't he? I guess this is why Finley does it all the time. We all get caught up doing our own thing when I hear footsteps approach from the kitchen. Why, if it isn't the big boss himself. Okay, we can skip through this. Um, I feel like... Because uh, we're going to read all of this when we get to... Graves' route. Here's my thing. Uh, yes. Good. We get to check out Graves' apartment, so that'll be different when we get to Graves' route. So we go to check out the basement. It worked the first time, right? I bet that's where all the nefarious stuff is kept. Blah, blah, blah. I'm just gonna kind of manually click through this because I want to till we get to the creep creakity creak creak creakity creak creak see this one we got through faster because we didn't have to read as much because we've already done every freaking option possible except for follow Reese's cat and um talk to him just now so everything else we've already kind of done Avery what are you doing Oh, Reese. Looking around. Why? You shouldn't be snooping. There's sensitive material down here. What, like those Halloween decorations? Are all those witch decals supposed to be a secret? Like it's a secret that Graves loves Halloween. That's not what I mean. Oh, like it's a secret that Graves loves... I was like, he's being sarcastic, right? Because I read that wrong. It's like it's a secret that Graves loves Halloween. It's not what I mean. I'm not looking for, like, the accounting books or something, if that's what you're thinking. Those aren't down here. Does Reese know something about this whole magic business? Sure is acting suspicious. You're acting like you know something about this place. Of course I do. I'm the assistant manager. That's not what I mean, and you know it. Are you going to try and make me spill my secrets? I'll never tell. What if I pin you against the wall and make out with you? Seems awkward, but... I mean, this is the route we're on. But it's not that I don't like Reese. I want to say that. Like, he's a cool... Oh, he's an okay character. But I just don't find as a character that he's one that I want to like. Ooh, I like him. Like, Finley and Hayes, I think, were my favorites. And Mason was a third after that. I really did like Mason, actually. Landry was okay. He see, I feel like there could be more depth to him. But I also, at the same time, then when you get to know him and he's, like, got this, like, crazy anger management issues, it's like... That worries me a little. Kind of knocked him down a peg in my, my book. 
you know? But, like, I mean, Reese isn't a bad character. I just don't find myself like, oh, I can't wait to get on his route. It's more like the, yeah, I probably, if I wasn't going to do all of them, I probably wouldn't have played his route at all. You know what I mean? But it's probably going to turn out to be, like, really good. It just feels weird. It feels forced for me. Like, because me, I'm like, I just, I don't know. Maybe it's because I, like, make him sound like this. Like, he's, like, total douchebag voice. Like, whatever. <laughs> I just kind of gave him the voice of someone that I want to punch. So, like... Uh, anyway. You're just messing with me. There's nothing down here, is there? There may be. There may not. What was I thinking? He doesn't know anything. He's just being a brat like usual. Then you don't mind if I keep looking around. I certainly do mind watching you. You can watch me look through this pile of dusty old books then. I'd rather you didn't. He seems a bit nervous. Maybe he does know something about magic after all. Maybe I'm on to something witchy. Well, now I definitely have to look. Sounds like all this trails... Oh, it sounds like this trail's getting hot. N no, there's nothing in there. Cat book, cat book, cat book. Hmm, what's this one? There's a book in here that's covered with brown paper. Very suspicious. Nothing. Nothing. Very suspicious. Of course I'm going to take a look. The Witching Hour. Give me that. He makes a dive for the book, but I dodge just in time. Ah, uh, ha! I knew it! It's a romance novel, isn't it? He does know something about this magic stuff. Nope. This is mine now. I'm going to blow this place's secrets wide open. Give me that book. Reese lunges again, but I'm too fast for him. I crack the book open and start to skim the best I can while holding it out of his reach. Something about cauldrons, potions. I knew it. Quit it. I flip the pages as best I can while holding him back with the other hand. More stuff about potions. Lo love potions? Something about heaving bosom. Uh... Uh, what? Is this like... Reese tackles me with the speed of an embarrassed cheetah and knocks us both over with a force I wouldn't imagine he was capable of if it didn't just happen to me. I said, give me that. Oh my god, he's bright red. I didn't take you as the romance novel type. It's not mine. It was here already. But you read it. No, I didn't. Why are you so embarrassed, then? Because... Because shut up! <laughs> because shut up! Your mom! Oh my god! Oh my god, I love this game! Oh! Oh dear god! Avery is one hero or heroine or whatever. Even whatever way you choose to play Avery. That just, I feel like, has such a sass that I could just relate to. And I just, like, most of the time, there isn't this much sass between a, behind a heroine. You know what I mean? Like, if you're playing, like, other visual novels, like, you know, you, obviously, you know, I've played a ton of them. And I have more to play. But they're always, like, they're just, they don't have this level of sass. So this level of sass and the, just the writing and the, oh, my God. Oh my god, I really, really, really hope that this developer... I really hope they come up with another game. I God, Hustle Cat 2, I don't even care. I Hustle Dog, I don't care. I just... I want another game from these people. I really fucking do. Because I just... The level of writing is just fucking amazing. I just... Oh my god. I can't even handle this. It's so good. Holy crap. Um... Wow. Just lost. I just lost my train of thought here. Um, but yes. Yeah, so, uh, okay. We're, well, mm, mm, mm. he snaps the book from my hand and sits up. I'm still flat on my butt on the ground, both literally and figuratively. Who would have thought he was the sappy type? I'm not going to tell anybody you like bodice rippers, dude. Don't worry about it. He doesn't respond. His shoulders are all bunched up and he won't face me. I think he's going to tear that book in half if I don't say something. You ever read The Dragon Pirate? 
It's about a pirate who's secretly a dragon and also a princess. She's like three different love triangles. She's in like three different love triangles. Um, that's what I want. I want that as a visual novel. I, the dragon pirate, that's what I want. A pirate who's a dragon and a princess. And then has like five or six different lo That's what I want. Oh my God, make it happen. To the developers of this game, I want the fucking dragon pirate. That's what I goddamn want. I almost feel like, you know, like sometimes like games will reference like prior games or like the Sherlock Holmes game, which should already have been posted by now. Yeah, it's it's actually done now at this point when you see when you're seeing this. Um, it, it, it's already wrapped up and yet I have not posted. Oh, I posted an episode that you guys haven't seen yet because it hasn't gone up. Like it's up for this week. It just hasn't been released yet. That's how far ahead I am. Anyway, but in that, if you watch that playthrough of the Sherlock Holmes, The Awakened, there's a reference in there. And I was like, ah, that's the next game in the Sherlock Holmes series. Because I accidentally started playing the wrong one. I accidentally had the order backwards. Um, So I would fucking love if they were like, we're going to put this in there because that's the game that we're going to do next. It's like the dragon pirate. Because, hi, it's a princess who's a pirate, but she's secretly a dragon. And then like... This is a game about witches who are cats. People who are witches who are cats. Come on! Oh my god. Anyway, I'm sorry. Uh, she's like in three different love triangles. It's real steamy. Don't make fun of me. I'm not! It was my favorite book in high school. You should read it. I brought my copy with me when I moved here. I'll lend it to you. If you do... I'll be merciful and forget this transgression. I beg your mercy, you great strapping warlock. Shut it. He storms up the stairs, but stops halfway. Bring that book tomorrow. What a nerd. <laughs> I actually, I think that makes me like Reese a little bit more. Like, I'm like, he's not a bad person. Like, I'm, there's nothing bad about the character. It's just like, yeah, I'm just going to be tough and like, whatever. But it's just so funny that... He's like artistically inclined, like a fashion designer, and he likes romance novels. Which, again, I almost feel like his route, we should have played Avery as a boy. Because it just would have been even funnier. You know what I mean? Because he doesn't seem like... I mean, like, obviously the characters are going to be gay or straight, depending on how you're playing Avery. But it just I just feel like almost like Avery should have been... We should have played our Avery for Mason and Reese as a male character. Because it just made it just kind of more amusing that um, with Mason, like, then she's picking him up and, like, tossing him around, like, whatever. And it's like, ah, she's protecting you. That's cute. You know? Because, um, like, Finley, either way, she's like, oh, I'm going to protect you. And it's like, it's cute whether you're a girl or a boy. And Finley's trying to protect you and stuff. I'm like, but I just feel like with... And I feel like Hayes, Hayes could go either way, but I just feel like it's almost more like Reese, it, just because like the fashion designer thing and then like the romance novel, it's like, like you don't see, you see him and you wouldn't be like totally gay. But then like if we were playing Avery as a boy, it's like, oh, it's even cuter. Like, <laughs> then he's like over there, like drawn clothes and like love and trashy romance novels. I'm not saying a guy can't, like obviously there's plenty of men that are fashion designers that are straight, but. There needs to be more women, to be honest with you, because men don't know. You don't understand how boobs work. You think you would, but you don't. I don't know. It's a whole other point. Anyway, I don't know. I just I get the feeling like when I was reading that it'd be kind of funnier. Like there's there's something about it that clicks more for me if Avery were a boy. And I know we can switch in the middle of the game, but I'm not going to because I don't know. But I think it would. I just I kind of can see it both ways. You know what I mean? A little. I think a little more clearly. If we, if Avery, then, I mean, like, it would work. I don't know if that's making sense. It would make, it would work either way for me, like, whether you're playing Avery as a girl or a boy, that all of them, like, the relationships all work. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. But it's, there's just something about this that's just a little more, like, yeah, that's what I would want to play, like, Avery as a boy in Mason's route and in Reese's route. I just feel like that 
clicks a little bit, resonates a little bit more for me than say out of the other three, the other three was like, yeah, you could go either way. And this one, I feel like it could still go either way, but it's like, ah, there's just, I don't know, there's a little spark of something that I just makes me feel like, oh, that would have been cool too, you know? It's probably because like, like I said, in Mason's, she's like, oh, she just picks me up, scoops me up and carries me upstairs. And I'm like, that just amuses me thinking if Avery was a boy, like she just, just scoops him up and carries him upstairs. <laughs> that amuses me. Anyway, um, but yeah, so I am going to wrap this part up here after my many, many ramblings. Um, and then we will continue in Reese's route in the next part. So I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.